everybody on YouTube. Now, this is going to be slightly different to my normal kind of diecast review video in that I don't actually know which cars I will be reviewing. I will basically be reviewing the contents of this box which has appeared on my doorstep today. In fact, it's been sitting on my doorstep most of the day. The guy who delivered it, I don't know, I didn't hear him knock or whatever, but he just left it outside. And I only picked it up about half an hour ago from my front doorstep. I have a vague idea what's in this box. I have ordered quite a bit, quite a few die cast stuff of eBay, but I don't know for sure what's in this box. So I'm basically going to review whatever's in this box. So, this is the first kind of mystery die cast review, I suppose you could call it. So let's go ahead and open the box up and see what's inside. Really? Right. So, it's this order. Here is the first die cast. There's two in there. See, it's Casey Kane's number 9 2008 Dodge Charger, Budweiser Dodge Charger. And the other car in this box, I think that's all the cars I ordered. You know, there's no, nothing else in this box. Is another 2008 die cast. Jeff Gordon, number 24, Pepsi, delivery DuPont Chevrolet. Now we're going to start first, then. These, these are the two cars we will be reviewing. Let me just adjust the camera. Just need to lower it down a little bit. Review. These are the two cars in the box. So let's start off with the Casey Kane car. As you can see, both of them are action hood opening Elite Series die casts. Still my favourite die cast to this day. I've got so many older Action Elite die casts. These are actually my first Action Hood Opening CO Team die casts. Never had one of these before. So, and this is a very attractive car. I wanted to get this car mainly because I have the Action Kids series Casey Kane die cast, which has, of course, the generic Casey Kane logos. But as you can see, this is the real Kahuna. Budweiser logo is proudly adorned on the side. And as you can see, it's quite a nice box. As you can see, it's quite a weighty box. Not the kind of simple plasticky thing that you get with a kid's car. Let's uh, whip it out and see what it looks like. Straight away I see a problem that I've had before with these cars. And I don't know if you can see it there. See there, it's on a funny kind of base. Now obviously this continues on from the whole kind of alcohol sponsorship, blah de blah de blah. Uh, I'm going to have to find a way of getting that off. But for now, we'll review the car on the little base. I've had a problem with those cars before. I think I got a Kurt Busch, an old Kurt Busch number no. 2 Miller Lite die cast a few years ago with that problem on it. We did somehow get the base off of it. That's for another time. Now, let's have a look at the model. Like, a, excuse me, like I say, I really do like the Action Elite series. I do think they are the best 164 scale NASCAR die casts you can get in terms of excuse me, in terms of quality and this one looks like no exception to the rule now one big thing you can tell that it's the 2008 model as opposed to the 2009 is that Allstate logo on the rear three quarter as far as I know I don't think this year's car has that as you can see it's pretty much the same the rest of the way around Dodge logos, Bud King of Beers on the hood and well the top thing about this is just the level of detail, the rubber tyres is brilliant if you look on the bottom there you can see the exhausts if I just open it up here's the real crowning gem of these hood opening cars the engine very nicely detailed I do have some models which are so detailed they even have plug wiring on them this one not so it's still very detailed as you can see a full interior and this is quite a nice car I really I really quite like this it's quite a simple one but it is quite a nice looking car all red all over so a definite thumbs up from me now to bring out the Jeff Gordon car. This is, unlike the Casey Kane one, which is a regular livery that he runs all the time, this is a special one-off livery. I believe this is one he ran at either Daytona or Talladega. So there's the car, of course, because there's no alcoholic sponsorship on this one. There is no kind of funny base on it. As you can see, in terms of quality, it's kind of the same again, really. We've got the rubber tyres there, as you can see, and let me just pop this open. 
We've got that hood again in the mildly detailed engine, detailed enough and very well detailed for this scale. And also, what is impressive, I've just noticed them about these cars. Whereas on the, hang on, let me just grab a uh, Action Kid series diecast. Look at the moulding. Here's Denny Hamlin's 11. Look at the moulding on the back. The spoiler is just strapped, kind of basically moulded onto the back of the car. And as you can see on here, it has two individual struts. Much more realistic moulding of the spoiler. And this is a very nice livery. One of Jeff Gordon's better liveries. As you can see, it's kind of a mix on his traditional flame livery, kind of firestorm livery, but instead of the kind of orangey red flames, it's uh, light blue flames to match the Pepsi sponsorship. His Pepsi cars have always looked really nice. I'll always say that. They've always looked absolutely beautiful in my mind. And this one is no different. The Pepsi logo adorned on the front. DuPont, Nicorette. Uh, more DuPont sponsorship on the back. And um, another favourite from me. They look nice in the photos on eBay. And they didn't disappoint in the end. So there they are. Two, my first two action hood opening COT models. And they're two very nice cars. And they should hopefully be used in my stop motion race later on this year. Uh, comment and rate and tell me what you think of this uh, dual review and whether I should keep doing this. This kind of what's in the box. I'm going to review whatever's in the box type format. I do have a couple more cars on the way from eBay. Hopefully. So I'll post up reviews of them when I get them. And I've also got a couple of, I think one request or so. And I'll work on that tonight. Until then, I will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Good night. Get it up.